Welcome to the Settlement Getting Started Hello World Guide. In this guide, you will deploy a smart contract to a blockchain, call that contract to read a message, and then write to the contract to set a new message to whatever you like. So let's get started with setting up a new organization when creating a new settlement account. To create an organization, we will first give the organization a name. Let's call that Demo Org. Then we will put our first and last names to attach us to this organization. And of course, agreeing the terms of service and click continue. Then we will give our name for our blockchain app. Let's call this one Hello World. Click create blockchain app. Give it a few seconds to load. Now let's go to our blockchain app and to the main dashboard of settlement. From here, we will create a blockchain network by clicking start here, add a blockchain network, and then selecting the network type to being Hyperledger Vesu. Next, we will set up the network name. Let's keep this one simple and call this Hello World Network. The blockchain network is where we will deploy the smart contract. So it's important that we keep track of that. And let's set the node name as well to Hello World Node. Next, we will choose the deployment plan. These are the resources for hosting the blockchain. We will select a shared deployment, Google Cloud, and the region closest to you. Next, we will select the resource pack being small, and we have a few other settings we'll keep default. You will also see the cost of the deployment per hour and per month. Click confirm, and let's start the deployment process. You will now see on the status that the network is deploying. This can take a few minutes depending on network traffic. You can also see that the node is deploying by kicking blockchain nodes on the left. This is also de on deployment status and waiting for the blockchain to be fully deployed. Once deployed, the status will change to running. Now let's deploy our smart contract sets as the next component. Click on smart contract sets, add a smart contract set, and then the hello world node we just deployed. Click continue, and let's choose an empty template for our smart contract. Then we will name our contract Let's keep this simple again with hello world and then choose a deployment pen like we did earlier with the blockchain network. Let's just keep the settings that we used last time. And again, we can also see the cost of deploying these resources and then click confirm. Now we're deploying the resources to be able to write our smart contract code. The status will go into deploying. And once those resources are deployed, the status will then again change to running. Now we're able to open the IDE where we write our code and select view in full screen mode. This will open a VS Code editor in a new browser tab. The files will begin to load in the explorer on the left, which is where we will find all of the smart contract code we will edit in this guide. First, click on the contracts folder, open up the example.sol and rename this contract to hello world. This is where we will write our solidity code for the smart contract. Double click on that, and now we will see the example code within the IDE. Since we'll be writing our own code, you can go ahead and remove all the code that is written in the IDE now, and copy and paste the code that's in the written guide below this video. Just to explain some of the concepts, first we're going to set up the Solidity version, define a contract, and then create a constructor, which will be the initial value when the contract is initialized. Then we will have a function called set greetings where we will be able to change the set greetings message. Now navigate back to the settlement dashboard. And from here, we will deploy the integration tool by clicking integration tools, add an integration tool, the integration studio and click continue. Let's just call this one hello world integration again to keep it simple and organized. Then what next we will do is choose a deployment plan and let's keep the same settings we've been doing for the other components as well. Click on confirm and let's start the deployment process of the integration studio. Once this is deployed, we will see that the status has changed to running. We will also have the option now to click on the interface tab and view in full screen mode. From here, we will import the template code from the written guide by clicking on the top right icon, import, and copying and pasting the JSON code and finally clicking on the import button. Once that's imported, you'll see a confirmation as well as a new tab added, added called contract editor. 
From here, we will double click on the set information block. This is where we will set the important information for us to start interacting with our smart contract. The first data we will get is by setting a private key. We'll do this by clicking back onto the settlement dashboard, private keys, create a private key, selecting the accessible ECDCA P256 and naming this hello world key. We'll select the node that this is attached to and click confirm. This will start the process of creating a private key. The status will be into deploying. And once deployed, we can now go to private key, click on the copy button, go back to our integration studio and copy and paste that information directly into the quotes. The next piece of information that we need to get is our contract address. This is the location of the contract on our blockchain network. In order to do this, let's go back to our VS code editor. And from here, we will first compile our contract by selecting the task manager, clicking on the compile button and the little play button. This will then start compiling our contract, which is a great way to see if we have any errors in our contract. You will see in the terminal below, we'll start generating the types of the contracts. And then once it's successfully compiled, we'll get confirmation that all of the Solidity files have been compiled. The next step is to actually deploy our smart contract onto our blockchain network that we deployed. This is done by clicking on the deploy script and we already have an example code there, but let's go ahead and remove this because we will want to make code that's designated just for our smart contract. We will copy and paste the code that's in the written guide where we have the, the functions for deploying the contract as well as the tags of which contract we would like to deploy. Then we go back to the task manager where we have a list of different tasks where we can deploy our smart contract. We will select the smart contract deploy option, click the play button again. This will start the deployment process and we'll start also compiling if necessary. We'll get a confirmation that the contract is being deployed, the transaction ID of what's handling the actual deployment. And as soon as the smart contract has been deployed, you will also receive inside the terminal, the contract address. Now let's get that contract address to add it to our integration studio. We can do this by clicking deployments, the hello world JSON file, and then the address that's at the top. Let's navigate back to integration studio and paste that address directly into the quotes. The last information we need is the JSON RPC URL. We can do this by going back to the dashboard, clicking on our blockchain nodes, and then clicking on the connect tab. You will see the JSON RPC URL. So click on the copy option, go back to the integration studio and copy and paste that information directly into the quotes. We also need to add an API key to get access to this URL. In order to do this, go back to the settlement dashboard, click on the top right profile picture and API keys. Nux generate a new API key. We'll call this one hello world key again to keep it nice and simple. We'll select the expiration date to no expiration. And for sake of simplicity, we we'll also select all of the access uh, to these resources that we have for this network. Click on confirm. And now you will see the new API key. Click on the copy icon, then head back to the integration studio and paste the API key directly after the backslash in the URL. We also have the ABI section, which we won't change for this guide. Now we're ready to click done and click on deploy to deploy the integration studio URL. Now we're ready to navigate to the front end of our application to start interacting with our smart contract. Go to the URL in your browser and at the end where it says hash flow, delete that and type in hello world. This will now take us to our front end where we can first call the contract to see the new mes the message, hello world. But we also have the ability to write to the set greetings to something else that we would like. Since you did such a great job completing this tutorial, great job you did, it seems appropriate. Now we can call that contract, see the transaction hash, which is the process of actually changing the message. Wait a bit until we get confirmation that it has been changed by seeing the transaction confirmed. And now if we do a call to the greeting message, hello, great job, you did it. 
This is only a start on the types of blockchain applications you can build on Settlement.